And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. In a speech held in Iowa, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called religious freedom our first freedom, according to the Constitution, and said a high respect for this unalienable right guides our administration. Secretary Pompeo noted that religious freedom remains under threat in many countries. Right now, four out of five people around the world don't enjoy full religious freedom, and we're fighting tooth and nail to change that. The United States is using all the tools it has at its disposal, including naming countries that violate this fundamental right. We've called out China's war on faith, its mass detention of Uyghurs, its godless decisions to replace church displays of the Ten Commandments with words from General Secretary Xi have not gone without being called out. Over the past two years, the State Department has hosted two ministerials to advance religious freedom, where nations and religious leaders from around the world gathered with the aim of protecting this basic right. In fact, America is deeply committed to protecting each of the fundamental freedoms of people around the world, said Secretary Pompeo. Our founders built our country on a commitment to essential rights. They come from these amazing documents, our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. And our nation's foreign policy must be grounded in those central understanding. That's the commitment that's made us a shining star of liberty in the world, declared Secretary Pompeo. Our house of foreign policy is built on solid rock, on these bedrock principles that were made at our founding. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.